Hey, what's, what's up guys? Figured I'd do another video in May. I'm trying to do more videos um, more often. I mean, I can't do one every day, but, you know, I think one a month is too small. So, and I'm trying to start a new podcast. You know, it, it, what hits me is that I'm not really, I don't really care that, I know it's not going to be very popular, but I did get about a group of like 40 some members, something you know, um, almost 50. So thank you guys for joining my podcast group. Um, I see what I can do, you know, as far as making entertaining videos. Um, it's kind of hard these days. Like I used to be able to like a comedian type, get on here and tell jokes and, you know, act silly and make people laugh. That used to be my go-to for videos, but it's much harder these days to think of creative ideas you know um, especially when I only have a phone camera I don't actually have a, a, a legit camera right now which I will eventually someday get a legit camera but um, this has to work for now and sometimes you just have to work with what you got, with what you got. Um, <clears throat> I think this camera is actually pretty decent for a phone um, but anyways yeah it's been a crazy week um Sleep deprivation was a hard thing. Just like a couple of nights this week, like I slept, I didn't sleep one night before my 8 a.m. shift at work. And then I had a 9 a.m. and I only got like two hours of sleep for that one. And um, finally, I started catching up on sleep, you know, a couple, you know, the night before and last night. I was finally able to get um, a good amount of sleep and get caught up on rest. Um, I just don't know, like, no matter how much I rest. If I have a few days off and I sleep a lot for those three days, even when I get back for that fourth day, if it's like an 8 o'clock in the morning shift, I would not like dead tired for it. Even if, you know, it's not like I'm, I'm staying awake for three days straight or anything, you know. Like, it, it's just weird how my rest works. I, I get, you know, if, if I get enough rest, like if I get, you know, a nine-hour night of sleep, I'm fine. Absolutely fine. I have no problems with fatigue whatsoever. If I get nine hours of rest, but if I only if I don't sleep at all or only get like two or three or whatever, I am like I'm dead. You know, like I'm like on the floor. Oh, you know, I have to do things to try to keep myself awake, whether that's chew gum or drink energy drinks or whatever on certain days just to keep myself going. You know. Just to keep myself going on some. Now that's not every day, but um, definitely it's some days. Um, so yeah, I definitely take care of myself. I, there are nights like I don't like I said I don't get enough sleep, but that whenever I'm done working, I get I go to a nap or I make sure I go to bed earlier the night before. Or hopefully, I can sleep in the next day. You know the. I try to make sure that my rest is always available. Like, so, like, if, if I, like, say tomorrow I work a cleaning job, I'll go there at 10 a.m. We're usually done by 12, 30, 1 o'clock. You know, most of the time, unless I have plans afterwards, I can sleep when I'm done because it's just, like, you know. So, sorry, this video was not meant to be about sleep only. But it is vital in life. You know, you can go a little bit on two or three hours, but eventually it catches up to you. So, and it can be, oh, one hell of a ride, sleep deprivation, I'll tell you that. I lived through that whenever I worked um, midnight shift at a gas station, Kogo. So, a lot of sleep, sleep deprivation in my life to the point where I make sure I get it. It's like crucial, you know. So is food. Food is crucial, you know. So, I understand sometimes life is so busy, it almost feels like you can't get enough sleep or enough food or whatever, but you got to try, you know. You got to find a way. Now, I feel like my life is not as busy as some people's lives, so I have more time to actually do take care of myself. But that's what I prefer, and I, I have no problems with that. Um... So, that's just been a bunch of blah, blah, blah. Let's move on to my next thing, which is, um, 
what was I going to talk about next? Oh, I watched the, the new Doctor Who episodes that came out, which start, me and my dad watch them. I'll tell you what, they are weird episodes, but they do feel like Doctor Who. They do have that Doctor Who essence, mystery, you know, a, a good pow, a good, you know, good action, good, you know, creative twists, everything. It's just they're a little bit off the wall, weird. I mean, Doctor Who does weird really good, but this these episodes are definitely... Much stranger than you, than I even expected them to be. So I don't know how this season's going to play out. I do like it. I, I'm definitely giving it, you know, a 9 out of 10 right now because it is just, it's bonkers, but it's a good bonkers, you know. It's still thrilling. It still feels like Doctor Who. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, there's some other shows, you know, like on Netflix, you know, Dead Boy Detectives or something is new. Um... I still haven't finished Fallout, which I gotta try to finish that pretty soon. So yeah, I mean, oh, how about this? Um, these Aurora things, you know, supposedly the sun creates some kind of crazy geomagnetic storm, and the create northern lights everywhere across the United States. It's been all over Facebook. Tell you what, I didn't see it here, but I believe that it was out there, you know. So, there's that. Um, trying to think. You know, I've had reconnected with some, trying to reconnect with some of my old friends lately. Um, so, um, you know, um, what's his name? Brian, if you're watching this, and Vaughn Patrick, um, I'll give you a little shout out here because I do that. Um, also, John Darling, I know you had a birthday. Happy birthday um, to him. Yeah, but... Yeah, life's just crazy lately. It feels like a freak... My life right now feels like a roller coaster, and I'm, like, trying to stay stable. You know, like, I'm, like... I got that seatbelt plugged in hard. Because life is really, really freaking bumpy right now, and I'm trying to find moments of stability, but also creativity. You know, um... Like, I just got back into reading books, which is something I haven't done for years, you know? Like, and, you know, I'm just doing a little extra stuff. But, um, yeah, it's been so nuts. I mean, there's been good things, some really good things. You know, Dollar General and stuff is a good, it's good, Aaron Parker is a good place to work. Um, it's fun, it's hectic, but fun, you know, as long as you get enough sleep. Uh, but yeah, um, it's just been so crazy, and my future, I don't like, I don't really want a future full of, you know, I want, I almost want things to happen naturally, almost, like, I don't, I, I think, oh, my future, I think I'm going to have to take such crazy leaps, and I'm going to have to confront big fears, and I'm going to have to, I always think that I always have to do so much. But deep, at least in my head, but deep, deep down, I'm like, I almost want to live a relaxing lifestyle where I'm just sitting on a bench and watching a sunset and just like, just kind of taking in life instead of worrying about how crazy it can get and how big of a leap, or how big of a risk you can take and how much you can accomplish and how much power you can achieve and how much money you can bring in, how much blah, blah, just, just, there's so much in this world that stillness I almost try to create moments of stillness for myself and relaxation is a key you know like I said I feel like I don't want to live the the craziness that goes off inside my head I deep down I don't actually want to live that way I want to keep things super simple and oops sorry about that the spit uh, anyways I want to keep things super simple and super relaxing and not get things so complicated and not have to... I mean, yeah, sometimes there's moments of bravery in life. Like, if you get called out to work and you're like, well, I got to call them back and say I'm going to do it or tell them I'm not going to do it. Like, that's some that's a brave moment right there. But, like, there's, there's no need for all of it. Like, you know, I know there's people... I always think of things I haven't accomplished, my goals that I never succeeded in, like me 
never getting my license or the fact that I've been single for more than a decade, you know, like, I really, I, you know, more, more than a decade, but like I've had a lot, a good social life, an extremely good social life, but it almost kind of reacts in my past, you know, my past, the need for romance. I don't, you know, like, or need to, you know, so I don't feel sorry for myself. Really, but sorry, I'm going on such a huge rush here. Um, so I don't know what my future holds because I I feel like I'm not in bold risk taking mode. But you know, I I want to relax and just keep things the same, simple, easy. I know not every day is going to be easy, but I want to have you know built in easiness in my life you know I don't want to dwell on what I'm afraid of and what big like I said what huge risk I I mean if it's a creative endeavor and people someone invites me to their house or like a friendship they come to a party if there's an element and fun involved sure great I'll go do it I'll be brave enough to do that that's not that but if it's like my life mission my life purpose and it's everything is counting on this one step it's like way too much pressure like like you can't you gotta take the pressure off yourself you can't think your whole life revolves one one big move like no 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 take the pressure off yourself it's not that crazy you know like yeah it's hard living in this world chaos definitely takes over and it rips you to shreds sometimes you gotta bounce back. You gotta be like a rubber ball and bounce back into the into the stratosphere and keep going. You know, stability is a good thing. Being committed to something is a good thing. I know in 20 years my life won't be the same. I know that, but like I would like to have an easy flow of things when I can. You know, and no, th th what I'm talking about, I'm not an alcoholic. I I went through a phase in my early 20s where I was into alcohol but it, it I don't drink very much at all so it's not like that type of you know like escaping life but like just kind of relaxing through life and letting changes naturally happen instead of like whoosh big wave like no don't no 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 no, no. you know what I mean but it's hard life is hard and I whenever life swings I swing right back and I stay who I am uh, you know, sorry this ended up being a big philosophy thing, but I stay pure to who I am, and I'll keep trying until my very last breath, and then someday I'll change. But I hope I don't change too much because I do like a lot of things about my personality. So, all right, guys, see you on the flip side.